Hello guys, welcome back to the debug arena. In the previous video, we have created half of this application where we were giving the title of the PDF, choosing the PDF file and on click of submit, it will upload this PDF file to MongoDB and after that all the uploaded PDF will be shown here. Now in this video, I will integrate React PDF to show this PDF file in our React application like this. So that when user will click on this show PDF, this PDF file will be loaded here in our React application. To implement this feature, we are going to use React PDF so that whenever user will click on show PDF, it will be shown inside the React application like this. So without any delay, let's get started. For that, you can go to Chrome, search for React PDF. You have to open React PDF by npm.js. You can run this command to install React PDF. I have already installed it. Now I will click here. I will scroll down. I will click here. It will take me to documentation. Let me just scroll down. And you can see the first step is to import this React PDF. I have already installed it. So I will just copy this. Go to my front end folder. All this code is to upload the PDF from React to MongoDB and to fetch it back. If you also want to learn that, then you can go and watch my previous videos. Otherwise, you can continue from here. So I will import the PDF. Now let's go to the documentation. I will also copy this. This is important for the setup. So I will paste it here only. Now I will hit save. Let's go there. Scroll a little bit down. This is the example of how to add React PDF. So I can copy this. Go to my front end folder. Create a new folder inside this SRC. Make sure to create inside SRC. It will be pdf.com.js. Here I will paste that. I will change the name of the component. It will be pdf.com. I will copy this. I will export this. Done. This is written inside TypeScript. That's why we are getting this error. So I can remove this. This also. And this number. Done. I will hit save. Now I will go to app.js. Come here. Import that compo and it will be PDF comp. It will already be imported. Let's see whether it got imported or not. And yes, it is imported. Let's go to our application. I will just reload this. And you can see I am getting fail to load PDF file. Let's go to our code. Okay, okay, I have not passed this some file.pdf. I have to pass here this PDF file which I have imported manually. So I can import it here like this import PDF and my PDF name will be one dot PDF. We have to import it like this. Then I will come here and I will pass PDF. Now I will hit save. Let's go to our application. And you can see I'm getting this PDF. Also, we are getting this text. It is because it is scanning our PDF and converting all the text it scans and show it here. So we have to disable this. For that, I can come here. And inside this page, I can pass rendered text layer. Also, we have to pass render annotation layer to false. I will hit save. Let's go to the application. And you can see, I am getting only one PDF. But here you can see, in this PDF, I am having two pages. But I am able to see only one. For that, we can go to our front end. And here, how it is working, we have created this two state, name as num page, page num. And this is the function which is getting called on this onload success, which is provided by this React PDF only. And in this, I am passing this function which is returning this and it is storing num pages inside this set num pages. And here inside page number, I am passing this page number, which is my current page number. And it is only one, like it is not incrementing. That's why we are getting only first page. So to solve this, I can come here. Inside page number, we are getting the first page number. Inside num pages, we are getting total number of pages. So what I will do, I will just array over it. So I can write here. Array, not array over it, map over it. It will be null. After that, I will pass array and its limit will be num pages. This means how many element array will have. After this, I will just map over it. We can pass it here i. i will be index. 
so I will increment the index. Once incremented, I will again map. And in this, I am passing this page. And here I can pass this page number. Now I will just control X plus control V. Now this page will run equals to the pages of the PDF. Now I will hit save, go to the application. Array.map is not a function. Okay, I have to not map you, I have to apply you. So that it will convert this num pages to array. Now I will hit save, go to the application. And here you can see we are getting page 1 of 2. But we are not getting any pages. So let's go there. It is because I have to pass here page, like this page. So, I will give you a page. Let's again go there. We are not getting anything because we haven't returned it. So, I can write here return. And inside this, we have to pass this page. I will hit save. Come here. Refresh this. And you can see, I am getting the PDF. And I am getting all the pages. Remember to change this from page number to this page. Now it is all working fine. You know, we can also modify the UI of the PDF by referring to the document. So let me change some styling. Now here at the div, I will pass class name as PDF div. Also, I will pass this page number at the top of the PDF. So that I will know how many pages are there. Now I will hit save, I will go to index.css and you can see these are the CSS properties which I have added. Padding is 50 pixel, background color is this and the margin top is 50 pixel. Let's go to our application and you can see it is looking fine. You can also change the size and the scale of the PDF and you can do many more things. So for that you can just go and explore the documentation. You know you can see here, the, all the pages are connected. So to solve that, what I can do, I can just click on inspect. Let's try to add some CSS property here. I will add margin bottom as 50 pixel. And when I do that, you can see it is looking fine. So what I have to do, I have to copy this CSS from here and I can paste it inside my code. This is the best way to find the class of the element you don't know. So I will hit save. I will come here. I will reload this. And you can see I am getting margin bottom as 50. All the pages are separated. Now our only job remaining is to show this PDF dynamically. For that, I can come here, go to my app.js. Here I will create a state name as PDF file. Now, we will just scroll a little bit down. This is a function show PDF which is opening our PDF in another type of the Chrome. What I will do, I will write here set PDF file and in that I will pass this URL. So I will copy this and I will paste it here. And I will just comment this out. Now, I will send this state PDF file to our PDF form. For that, I can come here. I can write here PDF file is equals to PDF file. This is my state. I will hit save. I will come to PDF form. I will accept the props. And here, instead of PDF, I can pass props dot PDF file. Now I will hit save, let's go there and you can see I am getting no PDF file specified but when I click on show PDF, you can see I am getting this PDF when I click on this PDF, you can see it is loading another PDF which is of 145 pages and it will show us all the pages. Let's wait to load and you can see it has been loaded. That's it for the video and I hope you understand everything and if yes you did then please like the video and leave a comment for me so that I will also feel that you have learned something from me. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.